My name is Dr. Irma McLaurin. I am currently a faculty member at the Federal Executive Institute in Charlottesville, Virginia. I teach leadership to federal executive employees, uh, senior level federal executives. Why anthropology? One of the things that I thought about when I went back to get a PhD was that there was no perfect Western intellectual tradition. And I chose anthropology for two reasons. One is that many of the people that I had encountered along my journey were people who were able to put their politics and their ideas about helping people and social justice issues together were people who were in anthropology. I've chosen anthropology because I enjoy learning about different cultures. I enjoy the comparative aspect, which allows me to look at, at the lives of people in the African diaspora, wherever they are, whether it's in the United States, whether it's in Belize, Central America, or whether it is in Suriname, South America. But more importantly, part of what attracted me to anthropology is the fact that it is a discipline that has undergone a tremendous amount of cultural critique, that it is one of the few intellectual disciplines where the where the scholars inside of it, the people working in anthropology, are constantly interrogating its history. They're constantly asking questions about its ethics, and we do have an ethical code. They're constantly asking about the ways in which anthropology can be deployed in order to change the human condition. So why anthropology? My question is, why not?